Welcome back. Here we go. Next standard. Well, same standard as last problem, number 17, but multiply a fraction by a whole number, unit three, test prep. Let's make that money. So let's get really good in mathematics. All right, now if you do hear some background noise, it's because it's raining right now. So when it's a rainy day, it's a perfect time to do a lot of homework. Now here's the problem, but you can see there's more possible solutions down below. I'm gonna start it right here and then move the phone down. All right, word problems again, it looks like a lot, but remember, let's make it not look like a lot. Let's just get rid of everything. It's one problem, number 17. Remember, you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. This is math. Let's move it down. 17. Read the information below and answer the question that follows. So we're given information. And as usual, you need to answer it. It has to be A, B, C, or D. Let's uh, identify those keywords. Information, answer, question. Simple enough. One minute. Okay, notice how I didn't pull out anything yet. Eric, we could change the name. It really doesn't matter who the person's name is. For this one, they have Eric. You could change it to Jacob, Santiago, Emmanuel, whomever. Eric is on the cross country team. Okay, a cross country team is you like to run. Normally, this is in middle school and high school. Eric is on the cross country team. He trains by running different courses. Use the chart to answer the R is cut off. Whoops. The questions below about how far Eric runs. So we see Eric again. So Eric's a runner. He loves to run. Personally, that's not my favorite sport, but I did have a best friend who loved to run in college. In fact, they'd run five, seven miles a day. My knees just couldn't take it. All right. Now let's check out the info. Okay. Still not a lot. This is a chart. <clears throat> Columns, rows. First column. In fact, I'm going to write first column. That means this. It talks about which course he ran. A, B, and C. Second column talks about the distance he ran for each one. For course A, half. Half a mile, how far? Half a kilometer. For B, three six. C, two fifths. Okay? Remember, each one of these represents a course. This is fractions. Standards multiplying, so we are probably multiplying fractions. Let's find out. Eric, we see Eric again. Eric runs. Finally, we see a digit. Three laps of course B. How far does he run that day? So always underline the question. What are you being asked to solve? How far does he run that day? Which day? Just this day. Okay. Now watch this pop out. He only runs three laps of course B. This is the only information you need to know. You are not adding all these. It doesn't say how far does he run for course A, B, and C. Okay. It just says how far does he run that day? He runs three laps of course B. So this is all we need to look at. Now we could do it a couple different ways. If he runs three laps of course B, that could be three over six plus three over six plus three over six. Denominator stays the same. We add the numerator, three plus three plus three is nine. We get nine six. Now, another way to solve that, we could have multiplied. 
3 times 3 over 6. Here comes the rain. 3 times 3 is 9, 6. Remember, when you are multiplying a whole number in a fraction, you just take the top number times the top number. Notice how these are exactly the same. But there is one major problem. I'm going to move down. Uh-oh. I know that he runs 9 over 6 or 9, 6, but improper fraction. All of these are mixed numbers. And then we have a fraction. Right away, I know 9, 6 is bigger than this one, so let's just get rid of D. But now we need to go from improper fraction to mixed number. Now, I like to just do these mentally, okay? So let's pull out the number. So watch this. Notice how all the sixes stayed the same. Whether you're adding fractions, the denominator stays the same. And if you're multiplying a whole number times a fraction, the denominator stays the same. And now I write six in here. And now I quickly look. Wow, it's looking like it's probably going to be C. Because look, six is down here, six is down here. Notice how I said the word probably. Let's find out. Six times what plus what gets me nine. Six times one. I'll write it here. Six times one is six. Plus what gets me nine. Sorry, this is a nine. Keeps happening. We will get better. Maybe. Six plus three. Three. Okay, one and three six. I come over here and I write one and three six, one and three six, one and three six, and I still don't see my answer. So I did step one, I multiplied or I added. I did step two, I got it to a mixed number. So here's step one, step two. I still don't have the right answer. The only thing that looks the same is this 6 and this 6 and this 1 and this 1. This doesn't look the same. But still, this is a 3 and that's a 1. This is a 1. Oh, you know what? We can simplify. Remember equivalent fractions way all the back, way back numbers 1 through 5? Okay, 1 and 1 are the same. 1 and 3 are not the same. But is 9 over 6 equal to 3 over 6? Uh, that seems confusing. Now, I'm just going to take this one. 1 times 3 gets me 3. 3 times 2 gets me 6. So, 1 half is equal to 3 over 6. Remember, these are equivalent fractions. So, therefore... These two are the same. 1 and 1 half is equal to 1 and 3 6. Now you can go about this problem. Of course, any um, word, multi-step word problem in simplifying, you can go about it in a number of different ways. Here's one way of showing this. Okay? So, step one. Find how far he went for the day. You are only looking at one course. You are not adding all of them. Step two, we take the improper fraction, make it into a mixed number. But then we found a problem that all these mixed numbers were not the same, so then we had to simplify. All right. One times three is three. Two times three is six. This goes all the way back to numbers one through five. So if you forgot how to do that, go back to those videos. That is ten minutes... Remember, multi-step word problems, do it one step at a time. If you ever feel overwhelmed, you take out your index cards and you just take it one sentence at a time. Okay, watch this video several times. We will practice it a lot in class. In fact, we will just do each one of these and isolate each step. And then we'll put all the steps together. Okay? Take awesome notes. Again, watch this several times. Talk to somebody else about it. Maybe see another way of solving the problem. Have fun with these.
if it's raining right now, try and stay dry. And you know what? Do your homework. Later.